What's going on everybody? Kwaku here back with another video. Today is probably the second most simple application uh, that I have shown on this channel and that is Simple Icon FileMaker is a free application and it works pretty well. There are some nitpicks that I have from it. So to start the video, I'm gonna show you what the application does in progress. And then I'm gonna also talk about what the problems for this application are that I hope it will be fixed. So you see the application in front of you this whole time. If I hit open image, it goes to my file explorer um, and then I can pick an image file. All right, so you see the image file that I decided to pick, this old logo that I created for a previous project, waiting for it to load up. It takes a second even with this Ryzen PC that I have, but waiting for it to load up right here, you notice that it now has shown the different sizes that it picked it from. This file is originally a JPG, a, I mean, not JPG, a PNG vector image file. It doesn't have a background. It's, it's just transparent completely, which is what I like for icons. Um, and you can see that it rendered 256, 128, 64, 32, and 16 by 16 pixels. The one thing I have a gripe for and I don't understand uh, for this application is, Let's say I just want this uh, 64 by 64. How can I only pick 64 by 64? I'm not sure because I see a save icon here. But when I do that, it only saves the 128, which is interesting to me. I don't know why. Um, but if I hit save all, it saves all of them in separate files. So if I hit save all images and I want it to be uh, test uh, and then I just hit uh, just this button right here and hit save. Okay, now we're gonna go right here. You see that I tested it out here, TGK, the same logo, but I'm gonna show you this test file when it finishes saving everything, 256 and so on. So you see 256 um, all the way through, including the original one here, which is 128. So once again, it did the 128 thing yet again, even though test 128 is also right here, which doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it at all. Um, and it also made it uh, all PNG files. So I'm guessing, what I'm guessing is if I go to save icon, does it save all the icons? I'm gonna name it as the same thing. And then we're gonna go take a look at it here. Is it gonna be an icon file? It is an icon file. Does it save all of, the, all of each one as icon files or does it just save one? Okay, so you know what it looks like it did? It looks like it just saved one and it saved the 128 one, even though there's a 256 one here. So that's what I was saying where it doesn't make sense what's going on here. What I kind of wish would happen is if you want to be able to select, say just a 256 by 256 pixels image uh, to save only that one, I wish you could just right click and hit save. And then it would say, do you want to save as uh, an icon or an image file? And that's it. Or maybe instead of saying save all as images, I wish it would just say, save all as PNG, save all as icon, and that's it. You know, I wish it would show exactly what it was gonna do because this is not clear to me that this is going to be uh, multiple images or one image because you can't pick what size you wanna save and you can't double click this and see this shift in size to see that this is what is going to save if I hit save icon. It doesn't make any sense, but overall the, the thought of the application makes sense that you're developing a website, you're developing a application, you need your logo in different sizes to put in different parts of your application to fit formatic uh, correctly, um, but it's just not too clear on top of it. So I just wish, like I said, reiterating, I just wish if I double click one of these, I wish this reflected what I just double clicked on. So it would change in size, maybe it would have a little, uh, text name saying this is the 256 by 256 one and so on if I clicked 128 and 64. I wish it would tell me what size I'm looking at on the big. And then by default, it should show this. If I hit save icon, it'll save it as an icon file, just this one that's big. And then if I save all, it saves all obviously, but it needs to tell me whether it's gonna save it all as image files or as icon files as well, just to be more clear. Otherwise it works well. So overall, that's pretty much all I have to say for this application. It definitely can be improved. And it looks like these are pretty simple fixes that can be done as far as I know. Um, so hopefully the developer uh, is listening and watching this one. Very quick fix, I feel. Obviously I don't know programming too well, but I feel like these are more simple than what I've mentioned in the past for other applications. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this application, if you use it currently and if you're a developer. And if you are a developer or you know a developer, 
have them send me your, their application. Um, I'm curious to take a look at what they got in front of them. If it's a bigger application like Page Fabric that I want to look at, um, it's probably going to take a lot more time because I have to dig through all of and weave through everything to see if it works well. Um, but I do have some things about that to say, but I'm not sure how I'm going to put that into video form. So we'll see. My name is Kwaku. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.